Hello, Dr. Leslie Phillips here again with another of your questions. This time we've got somebody writing from Texas in the United States. And this lady says, I'll just get her initial actually. Um, her initial is L. She wants to know what's my life purpose and what should I be doing professionally and does it involve using my gifts or is it something totally unrelated to my spiritual gifts? That's a great question. L from Texas. Let's take a look. Well, I'm seeing that you are bright, you are powerful, you are conscious, you are awake, you are aware. And yes, you have all of these wonderful and powerful spiritual gifts. And goodness me, <laughs> could it be possible that you were meant to just put them to one side and not draw upon them and not use them in your everyday life and all aspects of your life, including what you do for a living? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, they are your birthright. Um, they are, you know, absolutely, you are meant to be using your spiritual gifts. And in fact, it really doesn't matter how you choose to express yourself. You can be using your spiritual gifts to inform you and assist in your experience. So, Let's take a look at um, the question of what should I be doing professionally? Because, you know, this is a really great question because a lot of people who are waking up, there's a schism between what they're doing professionally and their awareness of themselves and their spiritual abilities. And they feel, okay, well, in private, this is me. And in public, in the conventional world, in my conventional job, I have to pretend that, I, that this, is, this doesn't exist. And um, I think that's like, it's a really, really, really common thing. So let's take a look at this question of, um, well, and I'm, and I'm seeing that's exactly what's going on with you in a way that it's sort of like you think, well, for me to embrace who I really am, then it really limits uh, what I can do as a job or a career because most of these conventional structures are not accepting of people expressing themselves fully. And I'm seeing, don't let that be a barrier. Don't let that be a block. Bring yourself fully to wherever you choose to go. And what should you be doing professionally? You see, I, I mean, it's really, that's completely your choice. And I think the thing that you're wanting here is to give yourself permission to be completely authentic and fully expressing yourself in whatever it is that you choose. And, um, you know, you wouldn't be here on this planet awake and aware and consciously knowing about your spiritual gifts if you weren't part of the ones who are helping to wake the rest of the planet up. And so um, I would say, um, let's take a look. Just embrace yourself fully. Um, embrace your gifts. Go with what gives you the highest joy and the highest satisfaction in terms of what to do professionally. And... Um, I think that really is the key. I'm going to share the screen of the card that I pulled in response to this question. It's an interesting card. Oh, well, there you go. That validates what I just said. Let your inner light shine. So whatever you choose, bring yourself fully to the table. Don't hide your light behind a bushel. Don't be afraid of your power, your light, your brightness, and your gifts. They are meant to be being used and expressed for, for the benefit of yourself and the, for, for the benefit of the rest of us as well. Um, 
So recognize your brightness. So I hope that helps you. I know I haven't told you what to do as a job, but I really don't think that that's my place. <laughs> Just, you know, what is inside of you that really lights you up, that you really feel drawn to, and choose that. Hope that helps.